Seattle and its people and neighborhoods as strength and resource has been just an amazing experience because I think it's not just about the culture of ed, but it's about the people in the community and how do we learn from them and draw knowledge from them. And I think that's what excites me. I was a teacher back home in Singapore um, and I was teaching at a school primarily for students that um, were rejected by the Singapore education system. Um, it's always felt like that was where I grew and loved being. Um, and from there I got an opportunity to go and work with the Ministry of Education in Mexico um, in an educational innovation or policy that was about bringing ground up movement and change through the work of students and teachers at the schools. And so how do we disrupt what we consider teaching and learning um, to see them as dual processes and it's not just about modeling great teaching but it's teachers also modeling great learning with their classrooms, with their schools, with their parents. Uh, and how are teachers learners um, constantly in this space because we are. <laughs> and also through that refine our practices and the ways and our frames by which we understand what teaching and learning is from Western knowledge systems or indigenous knowledge systems or you know how do we um, kind of disrupt what we understand today as what teaching and what learning is. And so when I returned to Singapore I was a math teacher, I also worked in Thailand um, and studying, also thinking about math and um, really wanted to study what we were doing and was looking for an amazing uh, program with the learning sciences to come to and UW was the place. I think we just have amazing faculty who are at the cutting edge of what the learning sciences is talking about and thinking about and kind of pushing the edges of the field in really deep ways and wanting to work with indigenous ways of knowing and being and feeling and dreaming to um, understand how that intersects with communities and schools. 